This is Agent Eerie here at Imagineer Productions and I want to go over something interesting. I'm not praising your little second city savior. I'm just pointing something out. He does one good thing. Oh wow. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. All right. And I mean you have this segment, the guns, they're and and bullet club gold. Oh gosh, horrible, disgusting. And they're they're beating up their opponents, okay? They're beating up everybody. And then Punk has to come in eventually. Even though FTR went in there and so many other people went in there. But I guess Bullet Club Gold. Oh, oh, big bad. Big bad gold. Yeah, I don't care much for him. I don't know if you noticed that. Especially that Juice Robinson character. Juice! Juice! No. You little child. Go get some juice somewhere else. Alright. I'm tired of this kid and his his fake modern version of Macho Man Randy Savage. Let me tell you something, kid. You're doing a disservice to Randy Savage when you try to behave like him, but you can never be like him because you're nothing more than a cheap dollar store imitation. And I'm sorry for insulting the dollar store, but let's get back to business. This is something that I want you as a listener to pay attention. All right. This is great psychologically. All right. CM Punk going for that stupid little GTS. Juice Robinson, he tails out of it really fast. All right. Like a dog with his tail between his legs just runs out and guess what? CM Punk, being a smart individual, he tries to grab onto that leg. Simple, right? But some people just, I don't know. And you could see it throughout the night. I'm not naming names, but there's always that incident where a guy's going to do a finisher and the guy slips away, right? And he just sits there. The the offender. The person who's gonna execute the move. They just sit there. Punk at least tries to grab the legs of old Juicy Juice, right? Stupid little... He probably can't get a grip. Because it's just full of oil. Because he's a slick weasel. Understandable. And yet, you want me to sit here and say, wow, that was stupid. No, that was smart. I wish more wrestlers were doing that. All right. Giving credit where credit is due. But that's enough for tonight. All right. And another thing that I really liked about today's edition of AEW Dynamite is a Papa Frisco giving the choke slam to Lethal. Uh, I don't know that I found that pretty funny um, and it was also pretty funny that no one else was able to take him down unless for Karen because I mean she did do that low blow uh, pretty understandable I think even the Undertaker uh, would sell for uh, those illegal shots downstairs alright then people you have a good one I hope you enjoy Dynamite. Hope you guys come to hear Rampage and Collision. Like, subscribe, share, comment. This is Agent Eerie. Wishing all of you a good day.